alaikum everybody welcome back to my channel it's your girl cc or khadija and we are back at it again today with another video and in today's video we are going to be reacting to a christian pastor who brought a hijabi to the church to present us an example of modesty now i think that is something that is honestly fantastic i think in this day and age this is something that we need um society needs um just some sort of an example you know this is such a bold step from the pastor to do that because in a way he is not necessarily shaming the women in the church that dress inappropriately but he is providing them with an example to see because unfortunately many of them do not open their eyes to see that you know what they're wearing is not modest now i recently went to um a church um because i had no other option um but yeah and what my eyes saw like i feel in a way like just sort of disappointed you know because the way that unfortunately the women were dressed with where it was inappropriate you know tight dresses short dresses chest out in the house of the lord for me that really spoke volume because at the time when i was part of the church i wasn't recognizing these things as you know oh this is not good like i wasn't in a way sort of like feeling any type of way about their dressing it just made me realize like when you are in there you don't actually realize that you're not even dressing inappropriately to the church you know i was looking at them and i felt pity for them because many of them unfortunately did not know that what they're wearing is not appropriate in the house of the lord how are you even this comfortable like i just felt so much pity at least in the house of the lord dress appropriately at least you know but yeah guys let's get straight into today's video i'm quite excited to see you know how he portrays this to the church and how the church members take this do they get offended do they actually listen to what he's saying you know now when it comes to christianity there are so many verses that encourages women and men to dress appropriately you know one verse that sticks out to me is first timothy chapter 2 verse 9 i don't quite remember exactly what it says but it it encourages the women to dress appropriately and to be modest not just by your appearance but by your character as well now this for me speaks volume reason being is because when you're dressed modestly you feel like your behavior needs to reflect your dressing and that's true that is very very true because now i feel like w when i'm out whatever i do i have to think twice because people are going to judge based on the way i am dressed they're going to think that you know i need to portray myself in a certain way if i do something that doesn't reflect the way i am dressing they're going to question and so when you're dressed modestly your character also changes and for my women out there who are watching and you know you haven't gotten to the stage of you know dressing modestly just do it for one day just one day i'm not saying you know you have to automatically come away and buy it and be wearing the hijab no just wear something that covers you you know whether it be tying your hair in a bun at the back and then just wearing a long dress just do that as an experiment just do that and go out and see how your character changes how your thinking changes your dressing influences the way you portray yourself and the way you behave so as a test do that and also for the test for the men guys do it as well you know dress modestly wear something that is not revealing don't be wearing tight um tight t-shirts and tight trousers like just wear something formal go out see how it makes you feel you know i really really hope that you guys take this as an experiment because i would love your feedback on this because i know from my heart i know that it does your dressing influences your behavior but anyways guys before i feel like i've been rambling for too long now let's get straight into today's video shall we now you christians 
you have so-called Christian celebrities that look like this. You have some first lady in churches, pastor wives, you look like this. You let your children look like this. You let many of the mothers in the church look like this. You go to so-called Christian concerts and the women look like this. The Bible says in like manner also, in like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. What is so modest? about this what is so modest about this there was some women wrote me when they heard me preach against it and said my pastor don't say nothing I most certainly know he don't your pastor wants to see this yeah your pastor wants to see this because your pastor wants to go here yeah Am I right, I said? Talk to me. Give me Jeremiah. Yes. Chapter four. Chapter four. Now, for you that says makeup is not in the Bible. Give me Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 4. The fourth chapter. And at verse 30. Follow me in the Bible and verse 30. Oh, this is good. Come on. Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 30. Yes. And when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? You see, when you spoiled in these churches, you can look like this. Because the preacher preacher against no sin. T.D. Jakes ain't going to say nothing about this. Creflo Dollar ain't gonna say nothing about this. Joel Austin ain't gonna say nothing about this. Your bishop, he ain't gonna say nothing about this. No. When you up on the choir like this, your bishop looking at you. Am I right, I said? Amen. Listen. And when thou art spoiled, when you are spoiled, what wilt thou do? What will you do? Though thou closest thyself with crimson. The Bible said you close yourself with crimson. Though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold. What else? Though thou rentest thy face with painting. Your face have what on it? Thou rentest thy face with painting. You see it? The Bible says. Though thou rinnest thy face with painting. How do God feel about the way this look? In vain. In what? In vain. Okay guys, so that brings us to the end of that. Now, I understand that modesty is very hard to practice. I certainly do. I really understand that. And I understand that everybody's walk is different. But if your holy book is telling you this is the way you should be presenting yourself, then why are many so against it? Why? And I feel like sometimes it all boils down to societal pressures. Because at the end of the day, if everybody was supposed to dress modestly, eh, there wouldn't be no debate on, oh, I don't want to dress this way. I want to be free. Be free, as people like to say. And it's like, how is dressing modestly taking your freedom? How is that taking your freedom? For me, I feel more free. I feel less judged. I feel like I don't need to, you know be doing the most to attract anyone I don't need to you know I don't need to do anything all I have to do is just put my back and go and go nobody is there to judge me for the way I am dressing nobody is there to look up and down and be gossiping you know because that's what happens people stare at you they look at you they judge you all of that when you're dressed indecently and it's unfortunate that it happens so yeah i genuinely feel like it comes down to society and whereby we are sort of encouraged to dress inappropriately 
it is unfortunate but we are you know when we see things on social media on televisions what is that doing that is just simply telling us oh this is okay for us to do modesty goes in both ways and that's one thing i really love about um islam because it literally provides the guidelines for both men and women men you know you're supposed to wear your shorts if you're going to wear shorts to a certain length your your top part cannot be showing from your belly button you're not allowed to show your body you're not allowed to be exposed vice versa the women you're supposed to cover up you know all that stuff so it provides the guidelines for both men and women and I really appreciate the fact that a lot of the Muslims do follow this you know although of course there are people who do not because it's very hard to practice which I understand but I just really hope that you know this video encourages you to see the beauty in modesty encourages you to start dressing appropriately if you're not doing so already and just to see that you know you're doing it for Allah you're doing it for your creator as well as you know to sort of please your partner as well um so yeah and when it comes to dressing modestly it's it's to do with honor it's not necessarily to do with oh the men will be looking at you inappropriately all those stuff no it's for self-respect and the respect that you also have for god at the end of the day I, all i really want to say is you know let's honor our body um both men and women let's honor our bodies um let's respect ourselves let's respect god and his guidance that he has provided for us and if you're somebody who struggles pray about it pray 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 about it honestly prayer is the key to all things so if you are struggling pray about it ask god to just guide you and also you know be mindful of the things that you are consuming because that also affects your thinking and affects the way you see um, modesty but yeah that'll be all from me today thank you all so much for joining me and i'll see you guys in the next one please don't forget to like comment share and please don't forget to subscribe and take good care of yourselves assalamu alaikum everybody Редактор